welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a very long overdue book unhaul. If you've been watching my vlogs, you might have noticed in some of the clips that I film in my office that there is a giant stack of books behind me on the floor. And those are all books that I've had put aside to unhaul for ever for a very long time probably for over a year now a lot of these books are books that i decided to unhaul when i was doing my like unhauling my bookshelves project over a year and a half ago so some of these might be familiar to you i might have talked about some of them in unhauls previously i haven't actually ever like filmed the full unhaul and i thought that i would actually do that today i would go through and i would show you all the books that i am unhauling and hopefully getting rid of very soon. There's a ton of books here. I think like somewhere in the 60s range that I've just been meaning to get rid of for a while. And I decided to try out the app that I've been seeing all over like Twitter and BookTok and everything, Pango Books, to sell them. So I currently have all of these books listed on Pango Books. I will leave a link to my profile down in the description if you want to go and buy any of these. All of the paperbacks are listed for $5. The hardcovers are listed for $8. So they're there for your buying pleasure. Like I said, I have a ton of books to get through, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm not going to be talking a lot about these books. I'll just tell you they fall into three or four major categories. One, I have read them and I have no interest in rereading them or I absolutely didn't like them and I don't want to keep them on my shelves. Two, I tried to read them but I ended up DNFing and I don't want to keep them on my shelves. Three, I read one or more books in the series and I've decided I'm not going to be continuing on so I'm getting rid of the rest of the books in the series. Or four, I just have evaluated and decided that I'm no longer interested in the book so I'm just gonna outright unhaul it without having read it. That's like the majority of the books to be honest. So with all that being said I'm just gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with the first category which is books that I have read but have decided I don't want to keep, will never reread, didn't like enough to keep on my shelves etc. And I also have these not really organized in any specific way other than I split them up between adult and YA so let's let's go. Unhaul time. The first one I've got here is Eileen by Otessa Moshfeg. This just did not work for me. The Child Finder by Renee Denfeld. Just never going to reread it. It was fine, but not one I want to keep. Same for Shelter by Jung Yoon. Fine, but not one I want to keep on my shelves. The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin. I absolutely hated this book and want it gone. <laughs> Songs in Ursa Major by Emma Brody. Same. I really didn't enjoy this. I just want to be rid of it. Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. This was fine, but I'll never reread it, so might as well pass it on. The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. This is just a weird book that was fine when I read it. Like, I enjoyed it, all right, but I will never reread this. And lastly, for adult books, I've got How to Breathe Underwater by Julie Oranger, which is a short story collection that I really did not enjoy at all. Next up, I've got all the YA that I've read but don't want to keep. Jane Unlimited by Kristen Cashore. Again, fine, just don't want to keep it. Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, fine, don't want to keep it, we'll never reread it. The How and the Why by Cynthia Hand, I didn't enjoy this, so I don't need it on my shelves. <laughs> the Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand, this was fine, just never going to reread it, not really my thing. I'm not really into YA that much anymore, so that's a big reason why I'm getting rid of a lot of YA. American Royals by Catherine McGee, I actually just read this a couple months ago. It was all right. I didn't really enjoy it, so there's no reason to keep it. Same for Save the Date by Morgan Matson. I read this and just absolutely did not enjoy it. And Switch by A.S. King, same category. Didn't enjoy it, don't want to keep it. Somebody else will enjoy this much more than I did. The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. This is a YA contemporary that I read years ago and have no interest in rereading, so I'm going to pass it on to someone who will hopefully enjoy it. And The Cheerleaders by Kara Thomas, a YA mystery that, again, it was fine, it was good, but I don't really need to reread it now that I know the mystery. I'm also unhauling both This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I enjoyed this when I was reading it, like it was fun, but I'm never going to reread this series. Like, I just have no interest in it. And if I did decide to reread it, I would probably just listen to the audiobooks. So, goodbye. And I've got Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes and the sequel Rebel Spring also by Morgan Rhodes, obviously the first two books in the Fallen Kingdoms series. I read this one a few years ago and I liked it fine but I never continued on with the series and then for some reason I bought book two and I tried to reread book one and I did not enjoy it so I'm just gonna unhaul both of these. Next up I've got a couple of like comic graphic novels that I'm going to be getting rid of. Paper Girls Volume 1. I actually completed this series last year and I thought it was a really fun like 80s sci-fi horror series, but I'm not ever going to reread it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass volume one along. And I've got the first two volumes of the East of West 
graphic novel series. I read volume one years and years ago, and then I bought volume two, never continued on with the series, tried to reread this one, didn't really care, so I just decided I'm gonna pass both of these along. If I ever decide to actually read it, then uh, my library has them all on ebook, which I will get that way. The next category is books that I have tried to read but ended up DNFing. I've got The Exact Opposite of Okay by Laura Stephen, a YA contemporary that I only got a little bit of the ways into and decided not for me YA contemporary. Like I said, not really my jam. Also, I've got The Graces by Laura Eve, which pains me to DNF and get rid of because this is one of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen, but I did not enjoy the like 50 pages of this that I read. Another one that's kind of painful to get rid of is Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. I've tried to read this book four times and DNF'd it four times. So I think that's a sign that it's not for me and it's time to let it go. Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Maura Fowley Doyle. This one I know is pretty well loved, but it just didn't work for me. So getting rid of it. And then I've got The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed, another hard-hitting YA contemporary that just didn't really work for me. All these like YA contemporaries I read around the same time and it was kind of what made me realize that I'm just getting over YA. So goodbye. And then I've got two mysteries. I've got Idaho by Emily Ruskovich, which I had heard great things about, but I just couldn't get into it. So I ended up DNFing it. And then my most recent DNF is I See You by Claire McIntosh, another mystery that I just was bored. I read like 50, 100 pages of this and I just, I was so bored. So DNF'd it. And then lastly, my largest category, like I said, is all the books that I have decided I'm just no longer interested in. So I'm ready to say goodbye to them. Again, like I mentioned, a lot of these were probably featured in my like unhauling my bookshelves series that I did uh, a couple 2020 but I'm just gonna go ahead and show them all here. So I've got The Interestings by Meg Wallitzer, The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera, The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood, Intercepted by Alexa Martin, White Oleander by Janet Fitch, Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. Some of these were also recently featured in like a triad chapter on unhauling my bookshelves that I did. Bel Canto by Anne Patchett, Erotic Stories for Punjabi Widows by Bali Coward Jaswal, I should know how to say that, but I don't. Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. A Thousand Cuts by Simon Lelick. Ella Minopi by Mark Dunn. A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. I guess this one could technically go in the DNF it category because I tried to read this a couple times. Just couldn't get into it. The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy. I think I also did try to read this and DNF'd it, so. Before the Fall by Noah Hawley. How to Be Both by Ali Smith. City on Fire by Garth Risk Hallberg. And then I have a ton of Book of the Month books that I'm finally parting ways with. Perfect Little World by Kevin Wilson. Also a book that I tried to read and ended up DNFing. White Fur by Jardine LeBaer. The English Wife by Lauren Willig. My mom actually recently read this one and she really liked it, but I just am not interested in reading it anymore. The Leavers by Lisa Ko. And As Bright as Heaven by Susan Meissner. And then finally, I've got all the YA that I haven't read, but have decided that I don't want to hold on to anymore. I've got the Reign of Shadows duology by Sophie Jordan, Reign of Shadows, and Ryan of Fire and the, I don't know what this duology is called, but it's the Forest of a Thousand Lanterns duology. So I've got Forest of a Thousand Lanterns and Kingdom of the Blazing Phoenix. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I finally decided that I'm not going to be reading any more Shadowhunters books, so I am getting rid of this one. A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahra Mafi. I think I've actually also tried to read this and ended up DNFing it, so missed a few in that category. The Walled City by Ryan Groudon, a book that was so popular when I first started booktube but I just have never been interested in picking it up ever since I bought it so finally time to unhaul it. Furthermore by Tahra Mafi. This is a middle grade book and I'm just not interested in middle grade unless it's Nevermore. All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stiefvater. A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Cluis. Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. Bone Gap by Laura Ruby. Those are both white contemporaries that I just decided obviously I'm not inter interested in anymore. And finally, And I Darken by Kirsten White, which I have gone back and forth on so many times. I think I've talked about this in so many unhauls and then it ended up finding its way back on my shelf somehow, but this time I'm unhauling it. It's gonna be gone. Those are all the books, the 60 plus books that I am getting rid of, that I'm unhauling, that I currently have for sale on Pango Books. If you're interested in buying any of these books, like I said, the link to the Pango Books my profile will be down in the description. You can go check it out. And uh, if you want them, buy them and I will ship them to you. Also, I should mention that I'm not going to change my mind on any of these. Most of these I've been decided on unhauling for a very long time. So I'm not going to change my mind, but um, you can let me know your opinions and everything down in the comments if you want to. That's it for this video. It feels so good to finally be getting rid of all these books. Like, 
to not have this giant stack of books in the corner is gonna be great. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Bye!